want the real cat meat sauce. Have you ever seen crabs like those? Some of them skitter back out yeah. the Who knows what other shores they might turn up on? Must be Shipwreck Cove, the place that Jack told us about. Look, didn't we sail past that rock before? Closer. We gotta swim. go and prepare, or we'll only get in the way. It ends here. Third. Ah, you do know how to make good time. Yes, one must simply marvel at your celerity. But such compulsive behavior is eventually going to bring you nothing but sorrow. Lost him again! How are we gonna go after him? Fast get those Right!
hear my call! Oh, whoa! He's plotting to swipe the chest in the heat of battle. To shipwreck Cove! Fast! 
Guys, are you okay? Sora, you're a welcome sight. We've all been quite worried about you. Uh -huh. Isn't that... Sora? Where's Jack? And Tia Dalma? <sighs> I'm afraid you've missed a few things while you've been gone. Jack. He's... he's been taken by Cutler Beckett. Yes. And Beckett commands Davy Jones and the Flying Dutchman. Oh... Barbosa thought we could defeat them if we released Calypso, the goddess of the sea, who was really Teodalma, bound in human form. But it didn't work. Aye, a fickle goddess, Calypso B. So what now? Nothing. Our final hope has failed us. Use that key to free me, Sora, and you have my most certain promise. I'll depower under sea you ever wish for, be yours. So... Tia Dalma was Calypso. She's the one who was helping us. And you know what? I think... that she might just be able to help us again. You can't give up now. We can all fight. Together. The sea belongs to everyone. Uh. 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 Hmm? I said that. Don't tell me my expressions. Huh? You did? Sometimes it just goes in one ear and right out the other. Wait, really? Yes! not over. There's still hope for us. You will listen to me. Listen! The brethren will still be looking here to us. To the Black Pearl to lead. And they will see free men and freedom! Our enemy will see the flash of our cannons and hear the ring of our swords and they will see the courage of our hearts as we succeed and they fail. Gentlemen, hoist the colors. Hoist the colors. Hoist the colors.
Oh. oh, I knew it was you! So that's the Flying Dutchman. The chest Jack told you about has the heart of Davy Jones in it. There's no way it's the chest that you're looking for. <laughs> no one knows what's in the chest we're looking for. If it's a black box, then we are to collect it. Simple as that. You don't know what's in it? Then why do you need it? How will you know you found it? <laughs> Got me. Regrettably, the higher-ups haven't deigned to tell us. But they did say the box contains hope. Huh? <laughs> That's all you'll get from me. Hmm. It's far too chaotic to find the box like this. Perhaps I'll remove that ship from the picture. They're looking for hope? <coughs> Will and the others need us. Yeah, I know.
So, you got what you want. Perhaps you're the better player among us. However, I must demand you give that to me. Cousin? You must be mistaken, mate. I'll not be giving you anything. <laughs> then I invoke the right of parley. No, no, no parley. Look around. We're a little busy. And besides, I've already got all that I want, mate. Still works. <laughs> John Spada. Are you lost? Prisoners don't belong on deck. Your station is in the brig! <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Tables have turned, mate. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Just a few more nuggets to join my crew!
still have a lot to learn about love but I know what it means to share my heart with others and it will take more than you to break a bond like that <laughs> what does a whelp like you know about the heart <laughs> a whelp has seen far more of the world than you know <laughs> what of it tell me William Tana do you fear death? Do you? How disappointing. So this is all they meant when they said heart. We've been chasing the wrong box this whole time. Heady tonic. Holding life and death in the palm of one's hand. You're a cruel man, Jack Spada. Cruel is a matter of perspective. Is it? Will! Will! Look at me! Look at me! You will not forestall my judgment! Quick! 
Victor, it's the locker for us all! Jack, can't we save him? Part of the ship, part of the crew. The Dutchman must have a captain. Oh. Elizabeth, say goodbye. Thank goodness, Jack. The Armada's still out there. The Endeavor's coming up hard to starboard. And I think it's time we embrace that oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Never actually been one for tradition. In we go! Hmm. It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business. Flying Dutchman must have a captain. Just where do now she and Captain Turner must live in different worlds? One day ashore, ten years at sea. It's a steep price. Will. Your chariot awaits, Your Highness. Mrs. Turner. That was a boss. Take care. Jack. Hmm. Thank you. One day isn't enough time. Well, there's always enough time for hearts to say what's true. Sora, you know better than anyone. It only takes a moment to connect with your mates. With your hearties. Hmm. There's always enough time. And I'm going to find them.
Axel? Huh? Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. Mm hmm. So, you gonna try yours on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe later. But you always wear the same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is how you pick me out of a crowd. I make myself easy to remember. How thoughtful. <laughs> oh, nah, not really. <laughs> Our training's almost finished. Yeah. Somewhere inside me is Naminé. If we can free Roxas, we can free her too. I guess so. Naminé was made when Sora freed me from his heart. So, now that she's a part of me again, I figured all was right. But she can't look at this forest. Feel the wind on her face. None of it. And if she could, it would be different for her. Her time was short. But she lived it, and that makes it hers. What right did I have to take those feelings and experiences back? They don't belong to me. Nothing's as it should be. Not for her or Roxas. I know. Way back when I was a kid, I met this other weird kid. Somehow we became fast friends. Never saw him again, nearly forgot about him too. Then, I met Roxas. Couldn't believe it. The two of them were identical. Oh, I didn't tell Roxas. Didn't want him to go vanishing on me too. The kid's name was Ventus. He's one of the lost Keyblade wielders we're looking for. Think he's still got me memorized? Oh yeah, very memorized. <laughs> now that we're going back, I'm worried about everything. Well, you don't have to worry alone anymore, Axel. It's about time! Uh, hey, uh, shut uh, it! Uh, <sighs> Come on!
What now? Please, I have created enough victims. Yes, you have. All of the children sacrificed in the name of your research. So make things right. I told you I did not take her. Her disappearance was why I put a stop to the research. And that makes you honorable? You used Roxas and Namine and threw them away. I doubt there's a merciful bone in your body. You took the girl and hid her. Now show me the data you are hiding here. Roxas and Namine. If there is any reason that I still draw breath, it is to atone for what I did to them. <gasps> he said Roxas. Yeah. That man needs us. Right. Yeah. If you do find the girl, what is it that you expect will happen? The child's memory holds a mystery.